So now I'm filming in the garage, and here is why. We're covering the Fox video and 20 Fox Home Entertainment tapes. And this is what I all have to cover. So forgive me in advance if I go a little too fast. But I'll try to go at a reasonable pace. So I am not going to waste any more time and let's get this thing done. Thirty fifth, we can add twenty three. Thirty seventh, we can add twenty five. And here is one of my all time favorite movies. Dub, this dub, Disney dub, I adore it. Very happy to have this tape. 26th week, 1994. Um, 31st week, wait. Yeah, 31st week of 1994. And I'm not going to be showing any ads because there are rows of tapes here and this is going to take a while, so hold on tight. Forty six week of 1998. Pardon the interruption. As I was saying, here is the page master. 93995. This one has the good barcode, which means this does have the white screen of death at the end, just in case anybody wants to know. Now moving on here. 5th week of 95. And we got a, we got, guess what? More Shirley Temple tapes. And they're all the exclusive color version except where noted. Forty three nine nine four. Forty four three nine nine four. First, we can add night five. Eleventh, we can add night five. <clears throat> this one, I think, was shot and called. Yeah, it says right there, Technicolor. Eighteenth to nineteen ninety five for this one. Twenty ninth to ninety five. In the last short example tape, at least for now. Thirty second, we can add night five. Let me uh, move up a little bit. There we go. Fifth, 
50 to get night fives. Got another copy of this too, which I'll show later on. This one's the two print dates copy, September 18th and September 21st, 1995. I do think of the magnetic VHS of this movie sometime. Let's see here. This one is the 296 day 1996 and the 51st week 1996. Rare reprint copy, March 4, 2004. Twenty eighth of nineteen ninety six. Two hundred ninety eight, nineteen ninety six, and the fifty second week in nineteen ninety six. There we go. Forty first week, nineteen ninety seven. Fifth week, nineteen ninety eight. Bloppers Day is December first, nineteen ninety seven. Thirty fourth week, nineteen ninety seven. Comes in a black case. Eighth week, nineteen ninety seven. Next one's the Mexico tape. Printings, but I do not see a print date on this one. Thirty fifth, fifty nine, twenty eight. And give me one second. All right, I had to maneuver around a little bit to get to tapes a little bit better. Anyway. Here's Bartok the Magnificent. Forty second week, nineteen ninety nine. Thirty fourth week, nineteen ninety nine. Thirty-six week in two thousand, and I know Divinity Troy had a copy of this tape that was completely damaged. September third and September twelfth, two thousand two, CVC on the side, and I can't tell if this was a cycle phone, but it looks like this was a cycle from a Canadian tape.
last individual clamshell, April 26, 2004. Now we go into the one clamshell box set, and it's more Shirley Temple. Triple pack movie collection. Heidi, Curly Top, and Baby Take a Bow. February 12, 2001. February 12, 2001 as well. And here's Baby Take a Bow. February 13, 2001. So those are officially all the clamshells that I have pulled out here. As I said before, I'm definitely forgetting some, but I pulled out what I could, and for what I've got, I think I did a pretty good job. So now we get on to some cut boxes, most, mostly uh, foreign tapes. Independence Day Japanese VHS. Some of these I do plan to do the openings too, like this one. This does come with the lenticular card. I will, I guess I will show this actually. And we got a Venezuelan copy of The Sound of Music, even though this is part one's case, but inside it's part two. The labels fell off on this one, but this is the right tape. I did get the complete set of that one at some point, but who knows if I'll ever find it. Fight Club in Japanese. And we got two Star Wars, two international copies of The Phantom Menace. Kicking off with the widescreen Japanese VHS. And here's the French Seacam copy. I won't, I won't be showing the eyes in there because that'll just take too long. Here's what lies beneath Japanese tape, which I talked about in the Dreamers Collection video when I showed my American 275T copy. And here's the Japanese one right here. Here is Planet of the Apes 2001 remake. Blobber's Day. Wait, not just Blobber's Day. No, it looks like this. This was purchased on January 12, 2014. Or it could be the first of the first December 2014. I don't know which one exactly. And here is a very rare Italian tape of Ice Age 2, The Meltdown. The original cases came and got completely damaged, so I replaced the case for it. But the tape is all good, as you can see. Alright, let me just move these around. And the last cut box tape, then we'll go on to the bullet cases, as they call them. Twenty ninety three nineteen ninety two, and is there a print date? I don't see one. Ugh. 
There. Seventeen three nine seventy eight. Best picture winner of nineteen forty one. Forty third we can ninety seven. Forty six we can ninety seven. Nineteen forty four Academy Award winner of Best Cinematography. Did Anastasia win anything? Hang on. For Best Actress, Ingrid Bergman. Best Picture winner of, wait, no. Uh, sorry, for a second I thought that won Best Picture. Best Supporting Actress, Jane Darwell, and Best Director, John Ford. Forty third, we got ninety seven. This one comes with a gray case, and it's actually a Canadian copy. The Route twenty fourth, nine ninety seven. There we go. Eighth of nineteen ninety nine, February eighteen, two thousand four. All right, now we go on to the widescreen Fox widescreen series tapes I have. Uh, no Dan year code, but the weekend year code is the 51st of 1997. Two copies of Aliens here. There's the theatrical cut. 51st of 1997 again. And here is the special edition. Twenty second week in nineteen ninety nine. Here's Alien Three. Fiftieth week in nineteen ninety seven. And I got two more widescreen tapes left here. Special edition of the Abyss. The the nearly three hour version. 43rd week at night eight. And here I got Anastasia. Thirteenth week nineteen ninety eight. And here's the one D theater tape I have at the moment. And I hope to get a D D V C R at some point so I can actually play this tape. And to those who really want to know, here is what the film looks like. Doesn't look much different. And here are the four cases tapes. UK tape with full warranty, native copy. This one is not in the best condition at all. It's cracked right there and there and it's dirty. And print date is August 21st, 1998. I think this is actually a Canadian copy, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong. Calzomaniac sent this one to me, so he should know for sure, but I haven't actually had the chance to pop this in yet. 
37.95, you sent me this one too, and the next tape. 38.98. And now the whole ton of slip cases. So you're gonna have to give me a minute to move these out of the way so I can actually make room. All right, moving on here, we got a whole row of selections tapes. Three fourth week nineteen ninety five and the twenty second week nineteen ninety one. Let me back up a bit more. Sorry, this is one of the harder ones I had to film to date. Eighteenth week nineteen ninety five. Eighteenth and twenty five as well. Thirty This is the first selection tape that I got that I still have. 18th of 1995, again. 18th of 1995. 49th of 1995. 22nd week of 1995. 38th week of 1995. 53rd week of 1999. Forgive me if I'm going too fast in some of these, just because I have a lot to show here. This is when 20th Century Fox began taking over. Home Entertainment, rather. 36th and 99.95. 49th Fifth week nine nine. Thirty second week nine ninety five. Fourteenth week nine ninety six. Forty ninth thing that I five. Thirty seventh thing that I five. Thirty eighth thing that I five six. Um, 144th day in ninety six and the 40th day in ninety six. Recycle tape, as you can tell from this. 48th day in ninety five. 
This one's got the official case, but the tape itself's a bootleg. Three hundred eighteenth day, nineteen ninety-five, and the third week of nineteen ninety-six. Fourteenth week of nineteen ninety-six. This one, after the Fox video logo, has the key video logo. After that, forty-fourth week of nineteen ninety-seven. What are you still thinking at night six? Fourteen thinking at night seven. Eighteen thinking at night six. Ninth thing in nineteen ninety seven. Forty seventh thing in nineteen ninety six. Fifty first thing in nineteen ninety five. Um, the 350 to 96, two hour and 20 minute version. Fourteen to 96. A lot of these are the same, we can year code. Fourteenth of nineteen ninety six again. Huh. July twenty second, two thousand one, and um, wait, yeah, August fourteenth, two thousand one, and the ninth of nineteen ninety seven. I know Corbin Petty had a copy of this tape that completely broke. Thirty fourth of nineteen ninety six. Fifty to nineteen ninety six and the the 152nd day, 1995. And I know Divinity Troy had a copy of this tape that was completely damaged at the middle. 46th day, 1996. As far as I know, mine still plays good. This one's a bit of an interesting copy. August 11, 1994, but here's the catch. Sold in 1997, 10th of 1997. Hmm. I don't know if I should call this a recycle tape or a surplus use and just sold it that way. Probably saved them a lot of money. Um, 31st, we're going to have Second week of 1999. 
21st week of 1997. Second week of 1998. Second week of 1998 again. Fifty first we got ninety seven. Twenty second we got ninety two. Twenty seventh we get two thousand. Here's the re here's the remake of the fly. Even though it's got this end label, check this out. There's literally nothing under. Oh crap! I ripped some of it off. Oh well. Oh, yeah, get ah crap. But yeah, you get my point. There's nothing underneath the end label. Even though it's there for some reason. Forty fourth week of nineteen ninety six and the thirty second week of nineteen ninety nine. So this is a suck from Independence Day. Um, 45th figure 1997 and 37th figure 1995. Maybe this is a cycle from one of the 1995 Star Wars tapes. Let me see we can Wait, let me check the runtime on Jewel then Hile real quick. Um hang on. 106 minutes, so. Hmm. Yeah, I think it might have been actually. Let's cycle from one of the Star Wars tapes. Moving on here. Fifteenth of nineteen ninety eight. Thirty seventh of nineteen ninety seven. Fifteenth of Acts ninety eight. From Metro Media Producers Corporation. Twenty seventh of Acts ninety eight. Twenty sixth of Acts ninety nine. Wait. Yeah, 1999. Printed two weeks before Divinity Troy was born. Three first week of 2000. I think that might have been the week Chris Jones was born, but I could be wrong. Third week of 2000. July 28, 2001. Sixteenth of nineteen ninety nine. Fourteenth week two thousand. Spanish subtitled. April thirtieth two thousand four. Later pressing. Twenty 
23rd week of 2000. Thirty fourth week of nineteen ninety five and the thirty fifth week of nineteen ninety one. Thirtieth week of two thousand. Eighteenth week of two thousand. Whoops. Uh, let's see. December eight two thousand one and February fourteen two thousand two and the thirty seventh of nineteen ninety eight. Um, February 7, 2001. July 27, 2001. It's put around the same time as Chain Reaction. Um, what's it say? Yeah. Fe February 8,001. Uh, let's see. June 6,001 and... July 16, 2002, and the 37th of 1998 again. I believe that was like a week here. It might be from Whole Floats, but I could be dead wrong. August 13th, November 23rd, whoa, November 23rd, 2002, and the 19th of 1999. And this one's a white tape, as you can see. Probably we was swapped out from the previous owner. And the last selection tape I'll show here is the Mel Brooks Comedy Classics box set. It's got High Anxiety, History of the World Part 1, Silent Movie, Robin Hood Men in Tights, The Twelve Chairs, To Be or Not To Be, and Young Frankenstein. Here's High Anxiety. Twenty fourth, nine ninety seven. Here's his. Ooh. Here's History of the World Part One. Twenty fourth, nine ninety seven as well. Silent movie. Sitting with this one. Robin Hood Men in Tights. Same thing with this one as well. And this one as well. And to be or not to be. And this one as well. And finally, Young Frankenstein.
and this one as well. All these have the same exact we can year code. So I can just put that off to the side. And now we're going to go on to the nowhere near as big amount of Premier Series tapes, starting with the Blast Mohicans. February 14, 2001. The first Unite Night 6. And last minute he can it says CVC on the side of the tape, but I don't think that's actually Canadian copy. Three third we can night nice six. Oops. No. Forty nine, I think that nice six. Twenty eighth, I think that nice seven. Nineteenth, I think that's ninety seven. Say we had a second week of 1999. Once again, sorry I'm going fast on some of these because I have a lot to show. 28th of 1997. Second week of Thirteenth thing at night seven and the tenth thing at night six. Twelfth thing at ninety nine. Seven year code, twenty seventh, nineteen ninety eight. I have the first speed on DVD, nineteen ninety eight DVD to be exact. Twenty third, nineteen ninety eight. I heard this one was pretty bad, but I haven't seen it in years, so I don't really have an opinion on it, on it at the moment, other than the fact that I thought it was okay. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, ninety-nine. This one's got the. The corporate Fox print logo on there rather than the 20th Fox print logo. 37 to 2000. Here's another copy from Trapman, my third copy. 16th to 2000. There. Forty eighth through nineteen ninety nine CBC on the side, but I don't think this is actually Canadian tape. May eleven, two thousand one. March eighteenth, two thousand one.
The Moon Fifteen, two thousand one. This one is April 2nd, 2001. <clears throat> if anyone prefers to tapes left after this one. Um, December, December 19th, 2001. Extremely late reprint, December 29, 2004, almost 2005 reprint. July 10, 2002. Yeah. And the last premiere series tape. Covers with Regency and Village Roadshow. May 11, 2003, and June 11, 2004, 48, 3, and the 38, 3, 2000s. So this is a double recycle tape, which is pretty cool. Now into the family feature tapes and slip covers. Um, December 20, 2003. Um, December 22nd, 2000. And here's a really crappy troll in Central Park. I'm a bad troll. A really bad troll. Okay, I'll stop. March 15, 2001, and, um, what's it say? June 11, 2002, I think this is? Yeah, January 2002 and the 12th of 1998. And we're back to more Shirley Temple. May 18, 2001. May 18, 2001 as well, so same print date. Here's a brief break. Twenty fifth of the year, nineteen ninety eight. I also have the 2000 DVD of that movie as well. February 1st and April 17, 2001, and the... Um, Looks like the 35th, we can add 29. And back to the four extra Shirley Temple tapes. May 15, 2001, and June 28, 2001, and the 21st, we can add 95. Yeah. Let's do it again. July 17, 2001, and let's say June 24, 2002, I think this is. Yeah. 11th thing in that time you hate. February 6th, 2001, and March 27, 2002, and the 14th of 1998. So I'm assuming these might be recycled from Anastasia. This one just is a print date. Um, March 30th, wait. 
March 30th, 2003. Now onto the Studio Classics tapes I have. That are in slip covers. Third, we get an A3. Nine twenty three VHS, but this is an outrageously late reprint. January twenty nine, two thousand five. Twelve three nine twenty four. Third, we get a night four. Journey 31st, 2001. Here's my other Indian Six Happiness tape. This time, this one's just on one tape. 29th, we get a night four. December 26, 2000. It's important four days out of the sandlot. Twenty-ninth, August 11, 2003. Not to be confused with the 2010 film. Seventh week of 2000.